So hey, this is Kyle, uh, going over the Missouri River right now. Uh, left work a little early, try to get to Wichita on time because last time heading there, uh, going through Kansas City at rush hour makes drive time last just a little bit longer than you expect. But anyway, uh, that's the main goal. It's been an eventful week. Wrote a couple cool songs this week. One's really good. I'm thinking about maybe trying it out tonight as things go okay. Uh, but looking forward to go back to Wichita. Uh, met some cool people last time. Playing in Salina tomorrow on Saturday and then St. Louis on Sunday. So I have to come back really early on Sunday to be in St. Louis by 10.30 a.m. So see if I make all my little time requirements. Fortunately, tomorrow is going to be kind of chill. So, hey, I'm in Kansas City. Let's see if we can get the Royal Stadium as I'm trying to drive. I intended to get to Kansas City uh, by 4, 4.15 as 3.55, and I am totally not driving fast. I swear to Keep anybody. To the right, on to I-4. 435 South. And I just made a wrong turn. Oops. So my wrong turn, it's taken me seven minutes to get back to kind of where I would have been. <laughs> That's what I get for bragging about my time and stuff. Um, so driving through Kansas and stories I've always heard, and this is my second drive down one mile on I-35. I always heard that Kansas is horribly boring to drive through, and I've got to tell you, at least on I-35, apparently I-70 is the flat, straight, etc. Uh, road. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Land is just rolling hill after rolling hill. Amazing sky. I mean, just watching the sun through the clouds. I uh, feel like I'm in some western movie or something. Lots of little gullies, uh, road curves, it's interesting, it's, you know, you can just kind of look out the window and look ahead and think, wow, this is, this is gorgeous. So making good progress on my way to Wichita. Uh, I was thinking I would probably get there around 6.30, give or take a little bit. There was some construction and other traffic-y kind of things that I had to deal with, but I'm thinking I should be there by be at the venue by 6.40, I'll call it, and then see later on how, how close or far I get from that, but unless something weird comes up, I should make it on time, I'm supposed to start at 7, so it only takes me about 10-15 minutes to set up once I get there. So it's 6.40, and I'm not in Wichita, I had a little talk with a very nice off officer here in Kansas and uh, received a warning. So I think my goal of trying to make it <laughs> before I needed to be there is going to be completely shot, but that's completely my fault. Um, but anyway, uh, see what happens. Hopefully I get there before 7, before I'm s supposed to start, and I hope that they don't have a uh, bar time as we call it where it's 6.40 now and it's 7.10 there. That would be <laughs> really, really bad. Hey, it's next morning in, in Wichita and I was thinking I'm such a thoughtful vlogger that I didn't even do any footage from the venue last night. So, so I was going to drive back there and see what was going on. Uh, it's next to Wich Wichita State Stadium, or Wichita State University Stadium, which is kind of cool. Uh, here's Kirby's in Wichita, 3227 North 17th Street or something like that. It has a really cool CBGB vibe, kind of like, you know, old New York or something. But there's all kinds of stickers, flyers, they're closed right now. Uh, last night... This guy was playing here for a little while. Met some other cool people. Trusty Hatchet and Jim Vega Band from Wichita. It's pretty cool. It's places we can grill out and some things. Really cool venue and 
It's an iconic venue in Wichita. Driving on my way from Wichita to Salina, and I don't know if I can do this justice with a hand wave. But there's a storm, obviously, but the skies in this part of Kansas are just amazing. Uh, really enjoying the scenery, and, and that's always something kind of fun when you drive to a new place, you know, if it looks kind of cool. Uh, fortunately, my car doesn't do the best in rain, but I learned my lesson about pushing the speed limit yesterday, so uh, that should be a pretty easy drive. So as the rain is getting a little harder here, uh, I thought of something, I, I meant to mention this yesterday, at the end of these vlogs, and I think there's going to be five or six of them, something like that, there's an inside joke I'm doing on myself just to give me some ridiculous little story to tell about this whole experience. So just give me a little foreshadow heads up or whatever, some little hint uh, of something possibly funny to, to come up. So in Salina, there's a place called Cozy Inn and they have some ridiculously good burgers. They've been using the same grill since 1922. And a really awesome story behind it. Um, this is a really neat little town here in Kansas. So it's kind of a central Kansas or something is where it's at. Salina has a lot of cool places to walk around. It's, it's like one of those old towns uh, with like a main street or intersection. And the main street was, was really wide. And you can imagine it was, you know, when they made that made the street that way like a hundred years ago and there's these cool kind of like tunnels <laughs> they go from like one block to the, to the other and it's it's kind of neat i was wandering around in an alley downtown because that's, that's how i do things so you can kind of see yeah walking down there i was like i'm gonna go down the alley all by myself i mean it's a safe little town but it's just kind of fun to go explore so sometimes people ask me, how do I get all my gear in my little car? And this is how. So, talking about Salina. I hope I said Salina right a second ago when I was in a tunnel. But I went to an awesome music shop and I found this bad boy. I haven't got a new guitar in a long time, but it's Fender Duo Sonic. Brand new sparkly lime green and it plays really sweet so it might be a contender for my new gigging guitar which is obviously why i got it because i'm not just gonna i'm not one of those guitar players that says oh i need one more guitar i'm usually the one that says i got plenty so that makes me very very strange but if you know me you go uh, dude you're strange that makes sense so it's an overcast morning this sunday on my drive back to st louis and I was really curious how this was going to go because from Salina, I had to drive about four, four and a half hours to my room. And then I had about a two and a half hour drive this morning uh, to do a brunch show in St. Louis. So I was thinking, how am I going to sleep? Well, I had a room and it was really nice. It's between Kansas City and Columbia. But... I woke up at least 20 times, I quit counting at 20, so I was like, okay, this is kind of dumb. Um, but it was one of those things, I kept thinking, how am I going to sleep, and so that made me wake up. Um, it took me a little while to get to my room last night, because uh, about 20 minutes from my room, it was storming bad enough, and my little car likes to hydroplane uh, just a little bit, so that was making it drive a little scary at about midnight or so. But um, I'm awake, it seems like I can sing, I'm singing along to stuff to get my voice warmed up, and uh, the brunch shows are usually pretty easy, you know, two hours, 11 to 1, and it's usually really fun too. So, uh, until next week.